Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Sandra Jones. The year may be beginning to wind down here on Earth as we approach the holidays in 2025, but on the International Space Station, the science and operations continue full speed ahead, or more accurately, 17,500 miles per hour ahead. A cargo resupply spacecraft will soon be on its way home when NASA's SpaceX 31st cargo resupply spacecraft undocks from the forward port of the Harmony module. This Dragon arrived at the space station on November 5th after launching the day prior from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Dragon delivered more than 6,000 pounds of cargo and science upon its arrival and will carry critical science research back to Earth. Two Astrobe investigations have kept NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore busy as of late. Current Space Station Commander Sonny Williams assisted the ground team with Astrobe reach operations. This investigation demonstrates technology for capturing space objects regardless of their geometry or surface material. The investigation also studies the physics of interactions among multiple free-floating objects. The ability to safely capture and relocate objects in orbit may maximize satellite lifespan and protect assets and infrastructure in low Earth orbit. Then, flight engineer Butch Wilmore worked with ground teams on the Clingers investigation, which uses the space station's Astrobe robots to demonstrate an adapter for docking and close approach sensing to connect to both active and passive objects in space. These critical functions could enable applications such as satellite servicing, orbital refueling, spacecraft repair and upgrades, and in-orbit manufacturing. On Monday, the first ever wooden satellite was deployed from the Japanese Experiment Module's Small Satellite Orbital Deployer to determine whether wood can be used in space. Lingosat's researchers will measure the temperature and strain of the wooden structure to see how wood may be changed by the vacuum, atomic oxygen, and radiation conditions in space. This CubeSat incorporates Japanese wood joining methods that do not rely on glue or metal fittings. Researchers hope that this investigation demonstrates that a wooden satellite can be more sustainable and less polluting than conventional satellites. Researchers also will evaluate how wood resists the solar and cosmic radiation in space and monitor geomagnetic levels to determine whether the geomagnetic field can penetrate the body of the wooden satellite. Two-way communication will be possible with amateur radio operators around the world by using continuous wave and packet transmissions. For more information on the space station and research and operations, be sure to follow along at blogs.nasa.gov slash space station, as well as on our social media platforms. But for now, that's Space to Ground for this week. Please join us next week as we take a look back at another extraordinary year aboard the International Space Station. Thanks so much for watching.